Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Wicked Warnings coming at you with another fabulous build for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, nice half van, half work body Chevy Expresses like this particular one. This is a 2021 Chevy Express cabin chassis. Of course, it was sold new with only the front half of that van. Then the rear half work body was added after the fact by Napide. So it's a kind of a combination vehicle we have here. What you're looking at right away, as you can see, is some of our amber warning. That's provided by our mini thin LED. We needed just a simple solution for this van for when it's parked in the street or an alley of a building. They do plumbing services, heating and cooling, residential, commercial, and industrial. So once in a while, they don't have a particularly perfect place to park. So we wanted to give them a not too offensive amber system that was visible all around the truck now we had a big ladder rack to work with so we couldn't put any kind of light bars on top or anything like that and there are often be a lot of equipment and material up on that ladder rack so anything above the ladder rack line is useless uh you're going to be blocked by things so what we did there is we put our mini thin in amber and put that on a triple flash alternation strobe that way none of the light heads actually go out they split fire the actual light itself fires left left side right side left side right side so it's a six led light what you're seeing is a three led by three led split pattern now, that's a very useful pattern especially for the shorter distance warning since this vehicle isn't doing any kind of highway work nothing real high speed we didn't need or feel the need to alternate the entire light head. Now, if this was a highway service vehicle, say for tires or something where it was on the high speed interstate all the time, I would have alternated the entire light head to give it a little bit more longer reaching warning, firing that light head six LEDs on off on off as one. But since this particular vehicle doesn't have a use for that, we split fired it and it keeps the whole light head pretty much illuminated. As you can see on the sides, the, the light never really goes off. It just goes back and forth, back and forth, and does a real nice job of giving you real good, adequate amber warning without blinding you or without becoming offensive in, in the warning, a little bit too aggressive. So again, it's just a plumbing truck. It, it's, it's not a police vehicle or anything like that. Um, so simple package we also tied in the napide integrated lighting in the rear tail lights if you got any questions on that feel free to send an email in and we'll give you a pdf to show you how to tie in to those napide lights i'll show you those in a minute but uh, before i show you that i want to show you the other part of this build that i particularly liked the best Alrighty, before we go into that, I'll just show you a front view here. Now, we could have put some hideaway strobes down in these front marker lights right here if we wanted, but we didn't really feel it was necessary for this particular build. However, if you have a van like this and you'd like to get some hideaway strobes in amber down in those front markers, feel free. They drill out very easy, and it's a simple solution to throw some amber right down here in these lights if you're so inclined. On this build, we felt that the two on the top were more than adequate. Now, of course, with every build, we work closely with the customer. So we find out what are the needs of the customer, what really needs to be better in the vehicle. As you can see, this is how the body was delivered from Napide to the end user. Not too bad, but we can improve on this. Alrighty, so as you can see, we've added lighting to every one of the work boxes on the side. And not only regular lighting, but what we've added is strip lighting to go from the top all the way down. Now this is to keep it, a lot of times these boxes are set up with lights that run just right along the top edge here. Um, and it's usually like a rope light or something. But when you load up the top shelf with all kinds of equipment, oftentimes, the bottom shelf is completely dark and you can't see what's here or here or what's down here. So we worked with this customer and we gave him a solution with by putting the lights all the way down the side. We were able to give him complete lighting all the way across. Now the lights here in the center one above the wheel, these lights run horizontally right here. 
but as you can see these lights you can kind of see the reflection of it right in there the lights run uh, side down there now these were custom made in our shop it's a 50 50 strip light you can find cheap versions on amazon or you can order via email the 50 50 versions we use here at wicked now the ones we use are sourced specifically from an individual supplier that i know has high quality lighting so if you're looking for strip lighting like this you can email us in and we'll try to get you some it may be added to the website at some point in time but as of right now it's a special order item and there is work this strip lighting comes in rolls so you do have to cut it to the length that you want you have to solder up the wiring on the end and you have to heat shrink it all up so this particular van it used 36 inch piece here another 36 on the other side of that one we did a single 36 on the narrow box on the hinge side. We did a 48 on this box and we did another 36 on the hinge side of this one. So in total, we used four 36 inch pieces and one 48 inch piece to see, to make the display you're looking at right now. We did the exact same thing on the other side of the box. The other light you might have noticed is right up on top here, right here. Now this is our load light right here in the center. And what that is, is a specific light meant to be mounted higher and shine down. And as you can see, the light is cascading out of the bottom of that, not the front edge. And it's in a specialized linear lens that actually gives you a real nice footprint of light right around this area. It works very well. And if I could darken up my skylights, I would show you, but I, can't do that so it's a little difficult to show you the real effect of that unless I wait till the evening time and film it then but uh, that load light I can assure you is a great tool for lighting up the ground right here all around the vehicle uh, especially at night if you're working you don't want to fall into a hole uh, twist or roll an ankle so that's really the primary focus of that load light up there is to light the ground and the walking area now of course you get a little bit of light here on this folded down shelf from the load light no doubt about that but the real focus on that is ground illumination so you can safely walk around the vehicle without tripping or falling or you know hitting a, a pothole and rolling an ankle or any of the other dangers that could be around the vehicle at night in the dark especially when you're carrying two arm loads of tools and it's tired and it's late and you've been working all week it's easy to miss a hole and, and uh, end up tripping and falling so these load lights i'm hoping are going to do a great job of keeping this plumber safe this particular plumber mr nick I haven't met him, I don't know who he is, but I sure hope he enjoys the van. I did meet the owners of the company, of course, and uh, I know that this particular van's going to Mr. Nick, so if he sees this video, I hope you enjoy it. If you need anything changed or modified, let the owners know, we'll take care of it right away. Alrighty, now around the back of the van, as I said, we activated the internal light in the Napide taillights, so if you've got a brand new Napide body with these kind of taillights, and they don't already do this, Get a hold of us, info, I-N-F-O, at wickedwarnings.com. We'll tell you how to turn that on. Simply powering one wire. We'll let you know where to find it, which wire it is. Right above that, you can see our mini thin. You can also see our mini thin reflecting off the wall here. Quite a good bit of light bouncing back off the wall from that side facing mini thin right there. And of course, we also did some of those work lights around the back. You can see that dead center above the rear doors there. And as you can see, now it's illuminated. We are, you can see also on the wall over here, a little bit of the down illumination from the other side light. You can see how it hits the wall right about here. So it comes down on that angle and you can see, I guess you can kind of see now a little bit on the floor there, how this, this area right here is all lit up. That's from the side light that's illuminating. You can totally see that shadow line right here um, from the truck itself. And then uh, let me try to back the camera up just a little. All right, I can back the camera up a little bit and kind of show you here. Again, it's bright in here, but you can see the, the shadow line right here where the vehicle is. So you can definitely see we're getting some real good usable light all in this area here to light up the back of this. And we did a little bit of inside lighting as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little hard to make out, but inside the van right there, we've got one, two, three, four, five interior lights lighting up that whole interior real nicely. We also had spray and bed liner take care of the whole inside of the van, as well as some custom racks in there for the particular, particular tools that this owner has and that he needs. 
Now that I lowered the camera a little bit, you can see a little bit better. Now that's a very easy, simple solution for switching on this. We had one switch we're gonna run right inside of here, just a simple toggle switch for all of the white lighting. It's battery fed, so we can run it anytime we like. And that covers all the steady white lighting. We have another switch in the cab of the truck, right on the dashboard, that covers all of the amber lighting. So it's a simple, very simple two switch system, very easy and quick to put in. I'll show you a little bit of the inside of the van here, just in case you were running, of course, all of our wiring, in case you were wondering, is all ran in the factory location. It's all split loomed. It's all beautiful, as you can see here. No ugly wires ran around, no hacky stuff inside the van. Everything's thoroughly protected, split loomed, and ran in the factory wiring chases on each side. As you can see, there's also a 12 volt winch lift that uh, crane, I guess you'd call it, in the back here that you can use to lift excessively heavy items. And as you can see up there, sorry about the washout, but that is where all of our wiring ran through the factory channels as it should be. Okay, I'm gonna take you on a fisheye lens and into my hands, so pardon the shake. I just wanna show you what I was talking about here. I'm gonna turn it about those uh, strip lights. As you can see here, this is where we have them ran and we ran them all the way down all the way to the bottom and this is just part of the power lock wiring that's not us but you can see we we attached them right here with our 3m tape and our 3m promoter to the side of the box and ran them all the way down to the bottom and there you can see we've sealed up the bottom as well and i'll take you in here kind of show you it's basically the same situation on this one as well running all the way down oh man i forgot to cut a zip tie oh man i gotta go get some cutters Man, that was close. I almost had something going out with a zip tie tail still on it. Ha! Huh, that's some hack crap right there. We fixed it. All right, so in here, we put it up along the top edge, as you can see there. Gives you a nice reflection back off of the white there and uh, should light up everything quite nicely. The other box has a shelf in it and uh, it does light up real nice on both sides. We debated putting one down here, but it just really didn't seem effective. With that right above it, as you're, as I said, you got a nice, nice lit up area right here. And then here in the last box, you can see a good reflect of our strip. And our strip is mounted inside of here. And as I said, it goes all the way to the bottom. And that way, hopefully, no matter what kind of shelving is put into this box, you'll have light all throughout it. I'll just take you for a quick ride inside here, show you what we did on the dashboard. Again, pardon that shaky camera. I don't mean to be making anybody sick right now. And here we go. Just a simple switch right here. Very easy, battery fed, on and off, super easy. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Make sure you check the description for the links to our mini thin light that was featured, our load light that was featured. And if you need anything else, give us an email at info, I-N-F-O at wickedwarnings.com. Again, that's info, I-N-F-O at wickedwarnings.com. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop me a comment. Let me know some thoughts. And uh, we'll speak to you on the next video. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency strobe lighting and safety equipment for cars, vans, buses, bikes, tricycles, SUVs, CRCs, everything in between, wheelchairs, lift chairs, anything. Bring it on in. We'll light it. Box lights added at Wicked Warnings.